We are about to change the world, people. Long story short, I just found this. And uh, I, I get really impulsive when it comes to copper and cleaning it. And long story short, my friend Jeff has a great solution. Get it? Solution? <laughs> He's got a great, great Instagram page that I'm going to share. It's digging underscore Long Island. And you got to see how his copper coins come out. Copper has always been a real struggle for me with cleaning. But he had a breakthrough. Let me tell you about it. Long story short, he bought a solution from Andre's Crayons. They have a wash for the coins. And he looked at the ingredients. And it was written in chemical formula for whatever peroxide is. And Jeff's a really smart guy. He's like, that's peroxide. They, they repurposed peroxide. They repackaged peroxide and jacked up the price. So he's like, hmm, let me try this with peroxide. Got the same results. And why don't we check out some of these results? Are you ready for mind blow? This truly blew my mind. Look at this one right here. This, you would think, is a shield nickel. That's no shield nickel. That's a two-cent piece. Watch this. This is the before. That's the after. Sometimes there's miracles that are laying below the surface. And that is one of those miracles right there. That is a cleaning miracle. You know, the date is clear. You could see a little bit of corrosion. You know, that's not dirt. That's the corrosion that's on the coin. But look at how this cleaned up. That patina is just legit. It's, it's stayed together. That's dirt up here. This formula is really especially useful if you are a metal detectorist, because you know you're going to find coins that have that gunk on them that is a mixture of the metal that is being corroded and the dirt in the ground, and it just stays there on the surface. So anyway, you saw what is possible. It's no guarantee that that's going to happen every time, but that stuck in my mind. And I'm going to try this on the large scent. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this coin. We're going to throw it in a sealable container. I just ate God knows how much ham just to have a sealable container. And that's just the beginning of Merrill being impulsive. Then what we're going to do is get this magical formula is called hydrogen peroxide. It's, it sounds really exotic. And you can get it at, well, Grenis. Yeah. And we're going to pour this in. Yeah, let's do that. I need two hands. Are you ready for the satisfying moment? Watch this. This is going to be great. You want to cover the surface. Make it so. A little more. There we go. No bubbles, no anything. You know, we had a little left over over here. And then he said 12 hours. Good luck with that. And then, and um, you close it first. So there we go. My wife's going to wonder why there's ham on the floor. And we're going to check back in 12 hours. Well, I came back to check on this and look at all these bubbles. I, I am dying to <laughs> take the dirt off of this, but Jeff said 12 hours, we're going to give it 12 hours. So I, that means I'm going to lock the door of this room. But it needed friends. All right, I'm at the nine hour point. This is wild. Look at this. It's like fizzing. I mean, I've seen peroxide in action before, but it's like the reaction starts like a while after. That's crazy. 
Well, I lasted nine hours. Oh. I know I'm supposed to wait 12. Oh, Meryl. <laughs> do it. All right, so now what he says you do is you take a toothpick and you gently circular motions with the toothpick. So I'm gonna do that and I will be back because I wanna focus on this. Especially since I started it early. Go Meryl, go. My results, just to preface this, it's not gonna be the same. The one that Jeff did was a legitimate coin restoration miracle. And there's a lot of factors that are involved. You know, the type of ground that your coin is in. What especially matters is the condition of your coin when it fell. Like just by it getting in your hands, uh, getting on your hands, the oil in your hands does eat away at the coins. That's why you see uh, coin collectors, they're very often wearing gloves. And you know, the coins, you don't see it on a day-to-day -day basis, but they start to wear down. The coins that were dropped when they were already worn down, it, it makes a big difference, especially if we're talking about copper. Silver, it's a little bit of a different story, but this video is on copper. There are some parks that I pull from. Maybe it is the, um, the pH of the soil, and the coins seem you know, little, just corroded, uh, messed up just a little bit, while other ones, it is just hot mess, like burning through. The clad is like purple or orange or, you know, it very different than, um, you know, there's a sandy type of soil that's really gentle to the coins. Anyway, the, the coin that I'm working on, it's been in the ground for a very long period of time. So without any further ado, here's the coin. I actually cannot get over this. Look at this. There was corrosion that was here before, okay? What this did was it did not lift up what was there, okay? So this coin was in the dirt for a number of years. And, you know, in the past, I have either tumbled, I have used olive oil or Andre's crayons and any combination of the three. This, this was just peroxide. And look at what's there. Again, you can't help, you know, the corrosion from being in the ground, but the detail on this is fantastic. I'm going to have to do the other side. You know, the flat side was, um, you know, it was submerged. And, um, yeah, I'm going to have to put this over on the other side. But, wow. I learned something. That looks like 1815, maybe? That's really cool. Thank you, Jeff. Great tip. Everybody, uh, please be sure to check out my buddy Jeff's Instagram. I'm going to link to it in the video description. Thank you.